Welcome back, fuckers. All right, today we're going to run through the latest edition of DCS Liberation version 2.2.0. So a few things have changed, a lot of things have changed, but we're going to go through pretty much the same stuff that we did before. And I'm thinking that uh, once I finish explaining how all this stuff works, I'm going to do a kind of a single player YouTube campaign where I use AI aircraft as best I can and I do my best to fly by myself without anyone else helping me. Uh, and we'll try and do a campaign, get it done. All right, so let me know if you uh, would be interested in seeing that shit in the comments. And uh, if you're keen, I will I'll do that. I'll add in the, uh, the sorties that we fly and try and do a whole uh, campaign on single player on YouTube. But anyways, let me know in the comments and yeah, we'll get that happening hopefully. Right, so this is it, the new layout. So it's got a couple of different things. It's got a packages and a flights box, which is different to uh, the two point, sorry, uh, two point whatever it was, one point five. Sorry, Liberation one point five. Uh, I'll put the link in description as well below for the latest download if you guys want to get amongst this. Uh, it's pretty fun. So we're gonna come in here. We're gonna go file. We're gonna go new game. Click on that and it brings up your box. Say so introduction. Wizard will help you set up a new game. Please make sure you have saved and backed up your previous game before going through. If you've been mucking around with your uh, previous, if you've had a game beforehand. So you've got uh, factions here. All right, you can pick your faction. We're just going to go with USA 2005, enemy faction. We're going to go with uh, Iran because we're going to do a Persian Gulf. Persian Gulf this time, where are we? Iran 2015, booyah. All right, so there we go. We've got Iranian 2010 faction. Tells you a brief description, uh, what aircraft you've got. So USA 2005, we've got F-15C, F-15, blah, 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 blah. You can read all that stuff in your own time. Tells you the artillery units, air defenses, and short-range air defenses as well. Uh, and also gives you the information on the enemy side so you can kind of see what you're coming up against in these bad boys. All right, we're going to go next. And now we're going to choose our map. So there is the option now to... You can make your own maps. I'm not sure how to do that. I'll look into that. And if it's not too technical, I'll uh, I'll try and bang a video out of that as well. But I have not looked at it. So you can get custom uh, campaign maps, I guess. Or you can make your own. But how you do that is beyond me at this point. So we're just going to pick... Uh, what are we going to go? Invasion of Iran. We'll go that. In this scenario, you start in Bandar Abbas and must invade Iran. That'll do. Number of control points, 12. So we're going to do that. We're going to be up in the north side of the Persian Gulf. Uh, start date, same as before. All right, we're just going to leave it there. Modern spring, whatever. Done. Uh, you've got options, miscellaneous settings. Start at mid-game. So if you want to have, like, there's 12 points to capture on that map that we just selected. Uh, if we want to start mid-game, it would have six points captured already. So if you just want to speed time up again, you can do that if you want. We're not going to bother with that. Uh, and then generator settings, we've got no aircraft carrier. So if for some reason you don't want to use aircraft carriers, you can select that. If you don't want the uh, the tarawa, unselect no LHA. If you want to use a super carrier, select the box, click it. If you don't want to use a super carrier because you don't have it or you don't like it, just uncheck it, and then you can also have no player navy or no enemy navy. So a new thing here, you've got a economy starting money. So uh, default 650 million, this is million, not $650, $650 million you start with, and you can slide it up as much or as little as you want. So we're just going to leave that at 650. All right, because that's a default. That'll do. And then you just say, say that, click finish, boom. It'll do its thing. Takes a little while to generate. There we go. And here is our map. So there we go. We've got our Bandar Abbas. We've got Havadaria as our two bases. We've got Keshem as well as an airfield we can take. And we've also got Kassab and El Raz. Okay, we've got our Stennis or the, uh, the supercarrier module up there. We've also got the tarot down to the south. So we've got options here. We can do, you know, um, uh, carrier strikes into Banda Lengi, or we can do, you know, carrier strikes into wherever we want to go, or you can use the ground bases, catch them, uh, come from uh, down south and go across into Iran if you want. And you can, same deal, you've got threat rings and all that stuff. So that is how you set up a initial campaign for yourself and uh, we'll go through the differences on the next video on how to do a or set up your first turn like we did previous and we'll just go through 
all the little changes that have happened since uh, 1.5. Righto, boys, hope you liked it. If you did, make sure you hit the like button and let me know on the video that you did. And also in the comments, drop a, uh, if you want to see a campaign, single player campaign, I'll just do like a sortie by sortie kind of uh, mission um, thinking. So it's not too long. And I'll try and explain what I'm doing as well uh, to you guys while I'm flying the mission, not just uh, sitting there mute doing my own thing. I'll try and explain my thought processes on things. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you haven't already, also appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Let's keep cracking on, see if we can break the 500. That's fucking out of control, boys. Did not think I would have 450 followers, uh, subs on YouTube at all. So thank you guys, you're legends. And uh, lastly but not least, I do stream on Twitch Monday to Friday at 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. So drop on in, say good day, and if you've got any questions, you can ask live on stream. We'll do our best to uh, nut it out and get you pointing in the right direction so you can do whatever you want to do, blow some stuff up, or even come for a fly with us. All right, boys, catch you fuckers on the next one.